This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Okay, fine. So let's start the session. Okay. So from here, uh, for the assignment work from that movie data set for that IMDB. Okay, so that is that the name IMDB International Movie database okay right so based on that we have to suppose to start our work in the task one to display the movie names from that exactly that uh, the director name is james cameron so that i need to display i list over here and then from the task number two to display the movie names from the imdb score is above 8.0 okay whatever the names from the till that year for everything and then for the task number three we have to suppose to go further to display the movie names from the year of 2015 to 2016 okay and then from the task four is nothing but we're going to display the movie names uh, exactly that language from english and then genre is horror and then uh, the year is 2000 to 2018 next number four imdb score is should be about 7.0 and finally one um what is that one dashboard we can able to substitute create over here okay right so this is the task okay <coughs> sorry let's kick off okay now i'll just minimize this i'll pick up this movie data set i hope uh, everyone will have this movie data set right <coughs> do you have that right Yes. Uh, yes. In a WhatsApp group, yeah. Fine. Okay. In a WhatsApp group, I just shared that uh, movie data set. Okay. You can able to start uh, download that data set and start work simultaneously uh, from our sessions. Okay. Right. So let's start our session. Is it clear? Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fine. Okay, so now I can start that a tableau. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, the tableau is not open. Fine. So from this particular file, we can able to make it um, import in our session. Okay. So this movie data set, it is a file format. Uh, it is CSV file format. Okay. So Microsoft Excel comma separated by values files here. Okay. So once if I'm going to click on this text file and I'm going to choose in desktop in a tableau, and then here you can able to find tableau session number 12 the movie data set i can click on it once if it is executed <coughs> okay the fields okay so automatically our tableau what is that that application software will uh, 
what is that it will differentiate that uh, the people who are comes in measures and then that uh, the columns which is comes under uh, what is that dimensions okay actor name one and actor name two and actor name three and color and content rating and country director name everything will comes under uh, dimensions and then some of the values like budget durations and uh, gross of the movie and then imdb score so these things which is entered into that measure sections okay so let's start so what is a task number one to display the movie names so particular exactly that the director name is james cameron i need to display here okay so first pick up that movie title and drag and then you can just push into that uh, sheet number one okay this is that uh, movie title will comes under that first recommended uh, what is a text chart okay so just drag that uh, what is that movie title and put into that our workspace locations so once if you drag that automatically all the movie title will be get displayed from a to z okay so till that uh, the particular year okay all the movies from the collections okay now what i need i need that the particular director name is uh, what is that james cameron okay so only that part list i want it so go to that director name okay so this director name you can apply into that filter sections so here you can able to choose only that james cameron and here if you can make it scroll down or you can also go for uh, enter search text here okay so for, from this field i can able to just type james automatically all the names which is related to that particular uh, content you can able to make it mark and select that tick over here james cameron and click apply button that moment the movie names will be get filtered okay right so these are the movie names aliens avatar and terminator okay so that the names will be get displayed here in that text format okay and if you want that score from that imdb score if you want to find and pick up that okay but for our task it's not required and for simply the movie name list instead of that uh, if you want to give that imdb score okay you just make it drag you can able to apply into that rows okay right or else uh, make it in column okay you can able to understand that uh, okay so i just uh, added into that column section okay so take that imdb score and make it drag and then apply into that columns and from here you can able to find that swap rows and columns that shortcut key you can able to press control plus w so let's it will get turned off okay right so that's it okay fine so if you want you can able to make it particular uh sort from that director list okay right and then from here in that sheet number one i'll just add that display particular director movie name list name list along with that score imdb score i can make it bold and then i can have it on center of the screen okay right so that's it okay so this is that one simple uh, presentation from our task okay you, you not required that much uh, uh, work it's required for the task number one okay is it clear right for everyone is uh, the same similar can be done lot of exercises previous classes right so this is the task number one so simple to display the particular movie name list for that uh, what is the director names okay is it clear for all and make sure in a fine okay excuse me sir. yeah ma tell, tell, tell me sir i have done it the other day can you please do it uh, uh your voice is uh, not audible uh, can you uh, text in our uh, chat window let me know yeah yeah your voice is completely it is uh, not audible
Hello, Kirti, can you hear me? Yeah, you, you just, uh, fine, good. Yeah, fine, one second, uh, let me check. <clears throat> Yeah, fine. No issues. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's really amazing. Okay. Yeah, once again. Let me display. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, it's correct, uh, Kirti. So let me display that uh, which you sent uh, in WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, I sent to my email address. Okay. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the design which is done by Kirti Lokesh. Okay, so uh, you can able to uh, check that. Uh, this is also uh, its correct format, okay, right? So the particular James Cameron uh, movie name list with pie chart, okay, right? It's it, it's correct, okay. So you can display that, okay. You can display uh, in different data visualizations, okay. It should be looks good, okay. There is no any other uh, uh, what is it wrong in that? It's correct, it's correct, okay. So fine, good. I appreciate. Okay, so let's continue with that. Okay, we can able to go for the task number two. Yes, shall we continue that? Yeah, fine. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> to display that movie name list, IMDB, uh, what is it, 8.0. Okay, so uh, we just uh, need to make a filter okay we need to go for the filter for that imdb score okay so in that sheet number two okay in sheet number two again i'm going to take that uh what is that movie title i can make it drag and then you can go to that imdb score and apply into that filter section and here you can able to click on the sum and i'm going to click on this next Okay, so it is sum in the sense what is happening. It is taking that uh, all the values from the uh, why because I will get only that IMDb score from uh, one to ten. Okay, it won't be there. Uh, what is it up to twenty three, right? Okay, right. So somewhere it is going issues. Okay, so we need to control it. Okay, right. So up to uh, one to ten. So that moment, what you can able to do? Just uh, drag that IMDb score. So don't choose that as sum. Okay go for the maximum here so that moment it will tell that uh, up to that what is the last value okay right so be concentrate on this particular location so don't choose that sum for that imdb score choose maximum okay so that moment automatically it will find that in uh, which movie it takes that largest imdb score values okay so again i let you know that drag that imdb score and apply into that filter section so this moment you have to choose the filter field from that imdb score can be called as maximum okay so go to that maximum and click on this next button okay so it's telling that uh, the range okay right so i can able to make it drag up to that seven or eight so whatever the name list we want so I can able to make it up to eight. Okay, that is what our task, correct? So here you can able to find IMDB greater than is equals to 8.0. Okay, so still I can able to make it up to eight. Yeah, fine. Okay, so I want that movie list from that eight to 9.5. That is the last one. Okay, so this time you have to choose maximum. So go for eight and go for 9.5. That's the last value and click apply button. 
and click OK. Okay, so now it it is filtered. Okay, it is filtered, but I want that uh, what is it? IMDb score too. So here again, you can pick that IMDb. You can just make it drag and apply. So all of my to apply it here. So this moment it is cool now. Okay, so you can able to turn back. Use that rule up. Okay, so these are the movie name list, and if the title the title you can able to apply into that label sections okay right so from the label wise you can able to understand that whatever the movies or if you don't want i want that score you can able to apply into that okay from the labels wise okay so clearly you can able to understand that 8.90 and 8.10 okay right so up to that all list of uh, movie names list according to that alphabetical order okay right so you can able to get it and some of the things movies goes uh score 16.60 maybe the data set may be get incorrect or somewhere okay right so and uh no need to worry about it or else you can still you can able to make it filter i can click here i can go with that uh, edit filter that range you can able to make it find yeah this is the last value and yeah, maybe some data sets may be incorrect inside here mm, the range is fine The range is eight to nine point five. Okay, so maybe that inside the data sets maybe get incorrected. Okay, so okay, right. So no issues that. So this is that next task, and here the sum is there, right? So the sum also we can able to make it change into that. Uh, what is that? Max, we will change it. Yeah, maybe for this issues. Yeah, we converted. Yeah, correct, correct. Now it's clear. Yes, now it's clear. Okay, you can uh, convert this. Uh, what is that? That label is there, right? That IMDb score. That is also you can able to make it change into that max. Okay, so that moment it will be get displayed, and then uh, if you want, you can also make it uh, the pie chart, but it it won't be looks clear why because lot of multi datas are there. Okay, so for that uh, the things, so let it be there in that text format. Uh, for that visibility okay or else uh, you can able to make it uh, from this different charts with colors or somewhere okay so we need two more measures so only one measure is there okay let it be there as it is no issues okay is it clear right for everyone i want to repeat again one more time is it clear sir can you please yeah sure i will repeat okay i can just make it z and then i will remove all the data okay so task number 2 so in task number 2 to display that movie names from that imdb score above 8.0 this is what our task okay so first step you can able to take that movie title you can drag it in that or what is that workspace and then uh, i want that imdb score so that you can able to apply into that columns so immediately what is happened it is displaying that all the values okay right so sometimes what is happening it is going that imdb score 14.40 so how comes it is so sum okay so sum in the sense okay it takes that wrong input okay i don't have that sum so here you can able to choose here okay you can able to click on that instead of measures you can choose max okay right so that moment you can able to get that all the values may be perfect okay right so you can make it turn that swap it so the range wise will be get clear and then if you want ascending order you can click all the movie names will be displayed here okay and this i wanted in that imdb score 
in that label you can able to apply it what is happening you can see that in that some of the movies it's gone 18.20 it is okay I, I don't want it okay right so here it is there in the sum right so click on this sum go to that measures and choose as a maximum okay right so that moment it will be get recorrected okay fine so now you can able to find all the movie name list above the range of uh, what is that uh, from the till the last but i want that uh, what is it i want only that above eight okay right so here again you can choose that imdb score apply into that filter section choose maximum and click on this next button i can able to make it drag up to eight yeah fine apply and then okay it will be filtered now okay so this moment it never used to go that below eight okay the last value is eight it is okay so now all the movie name list we just dis displayed from that uh, eight and then if you want you can apply that colors and if you want you can able to uh, use some other uh, what is that charts whatever if you want okay right is it clear <coughs> excuse me is it clear shall i repeat again one more time is it clear uh, nitya yes fine uh, ananya sanjana Kritika, Surabhi, yeah, Meghna, long back, <laughs> Manvita, okay. uh, long back, yeah, fine, fine, okay, right, so let's continue that, okay, so now, the third task we can able to start, so the third task is to display the movie name list from the year range of 2015 to 2016, okay, from this range, I want that all the movie name list, so I can take that one more sheet. I can go with that movie title column. I just drag into that a uh, workspace. Okay. Now uh, for that movie title year. Okay. Right. So from the title year, I can able to drag. You can able to put into that filter section. Okay. So from the range which I want 2015. 2016 okay right apply and then i'll click okay button okay fine clear so now that title year is happened and if you drag you can able to apply sorry the title year i can able to apply into that columns okay no need columns you can able to apply into that uh, rows itself okay so simultaneously you can able to get it so in columns it is not quite good uh, i need a okay <clears throat> i need imdb score or something else okay fine so title year so i can able to make it display here from that all the movie name list from the 2015 to 2016 wise okay right so for that presentation wise i i need one measures okay i, I need one measures for that uh, we present it so now here from this title year, again, I will let you know that I just removed all the values. Go to that movie title. I can apply into that sections of that our workspace and take a IMDB score and then I can able to apply into that column sections. Now what I need, I need that year of 2015 to 2016, the movie name list, it started at uh, too fast, too furious, and two guns. Okay, some other all the names. So I only need to control it off. The title year. Okay, so choose the title year. I can apply into that filter sections. Okay, so in this filter sections, so from the till the date of one nine one six. Okay, so the movie I I don't want. I want only from two thousand fifteen to two thousand sixteen. Okay, from this particular range, I want the data, and click apply button and click OK button. Okay, now it's filtered. Okay, so let me check and we can able to find that which are the movies which comes under that, uh, what is it, uh, that year. I can drag, I can able to apply into that labels. 
okay five that's it okay so some uh, of the movies okay so in which year it is get released and then uh, you can turn back and which are the movies in that 2015 to 2016 or that uh, highest uh, imdb score wise so that is also you can be able to make it mark so what we can do so now i just want to turn this that means swap the rows and columns you just press control plus w now i can press control plus w i swapped it okay clear and then you can able to go and choose that ascending order okay there is a one movie name uh, can be called as home okay you can able to find in 2015 again it is telling that imdb score is 20.10 some of that some values okay so what we can do right and go to that rows for this sum you can able to convert into that maximum okay right so that moment uh, again you can able to uh, make it uh, change okay you can able to find that in 2016 okay the movie name can be called as kickboxer okay so this is that topest uh, in that uh, 9.10 and then second movie okay right and then next third movie in order wise you can able to find it so if any one if they ask if they given that data set okay i want that movie name list from 2000 that particular year okay i want all the movies uh, i want that uh, what is it abo 8.0 uh, point imdb score how you can able to filter how you can able to do that filtrations uh, how you can present the data okay so you can able to work this type of things still we not it written any formula so just we are drag that informations we worked it okay right is it clear right is it clear for everyone or I, shall i repeat one more time is it clear yes sir yeah fine okay so we can continue i'll just minimize okay so this is that sheet 1 and then sheet 2 and then sheet 3 and we need to target this fourth one so this is the part we going to uh, work still more okay right so why because we have the four conditions uh, one is uh, display the movie name list the language only for english and then journal it has to come only journal what is it horror so horror and then that year is from 2000 to 2018 and then imdb score is above 7.0 okay so this is what we going to work now so let's start let's start here that's a final task okay so this is the task number 1 i will rename this okay i i'm not given any colors for that uh, for our task okay and but you have to be work on that and make it still more and give that a uh, heading and then uh, add some text and, and uh, make it some few colors so that moment it is makes a uh, very uh, clear idea about it okay so now you can see that uh, this is the task number 3 right you can just choose this chart and you just look at that okay if it is uh, okay for that our design okay right or is uh, make sure that uh, let it be there as background just click and then you can see to that if sometimes you, uh, our work based on that our filtrations okay you can able to get that beautiful charts okay right so now from the task number 4 from the task number 4 so what is the first task i want the movie name list so what we can do we can drag that movie title you can apply into that our workspace okay right i just drag then i just uh, uh, pulled into that our uh, what is that uh, our workspace okay and the first condition is the language okay the language must be english i don't want any other language okay so we can able to go for language i can able to make it little scroll down and go to the filters so here you can able to find from the left hand side can you find that column name is language 
drag and then you can apply into that filters and which language i want i want english so i can able to make it type only english i can select apply button and click ok so first condition we done it in that filters and second one is little tricky why because okay we doesn't have that uh, what is it only horror sections okay right so this is what uh, from last uh, session uh, kids is asked that the particular question okay so uh, in that um, journal section okay so we couldn't able to find that only uh, the word horror it is that combination of uh, what is that action drama and then horror so how we can able to make sure to filter that data okay right so that we can able to let you know now okay i can make it control f now i can press control f and i'm going to type that word example horror okay so now you people understands that i can able to make it yeah you can able to see that uh, i just uh, make it some little color for your understand okay you can see to this particular data okay so it is not contains only horror okay it contains action adventure horror and science fi and thriller same similar kind in some other part it contains action and horror uh, some combinations it will be there if it is only the word horror easily we can able to go for uh, what is a filter sections you can type horror you can able to get it but for this part how we can able to sort out okay this is that main task okay from this assignment work okay right so we need to create one calculated fields and we have to find whether this particular word is available combination of this word okay right so here for this horror section we have to write what is it calculated field okay right so for this calculated field in tableau i just write it in tableau we going to write one built in function can be called as the built in function name can be called as contains okay right and keep this point any word which comes under that bracket okay right any word will comes under this bracket okay right so which bracket this bracket okay right not this bracket okay that is just for your reference i get i just give it okay so any word it contains this bracket you see you have to supposed to call as function okay uh, you have that uh, knowledge about excel right so in excel you can able to find sum so what is happening the sum contains that open and close bracket so you have to supposed to call function that sum is that one of the built in function in excel and then i can find count it comes in this open and close bracket that is also one of the built in function count a sum if okay right so lot of built in functions which is av already available in that software in our uh, excel same similar kind in tableau okay you can also find lot of functions okay when we are working with uh, if conditions right and then uh, we are working with some other ladder if conditions so lot of functions which is available so for this type of words so what is that use of this contains so the contains is nothing but you can search some uh, what is it some of the words okay you can able to find some of the words whether it is available or not okay right it should be get available if it is contained what we have to do now okay right so now let's clear with this so how we can able to work with this contains uh, function how we can able to make it drag how we can able to work on it okay fine so from here i can able to start to write that calculated field okay is it clear right so here this is that issues why because that horror word it is not available alone it is in the combination of some other words like action adventure okay right after that in middle it contains that horror okay right so let me clear i can make it little bold can you see this this is that horror word okay this word it contains in combination of some other uh, what is that word like action adventure okay right so what we have to do we need to control this okay so the question is if this particular word contains 
the combination of any other words print that movie names i'm just telling so make that particular names in that column so that is what our task okay so let's start to create this calculated field is it clear right everyone uh, you understand this right what i'm telling so that concept is we need to display that the movie name list only that contains horror okay right so if it is contains only horror no issues if it is in combination of some other words so we need to control it okay is it clear shall we start to write that uh, what is it calculated field nitya kirti yeah yes yes sir i have a doubt like yes. uh, uh the genre thing genre the uh -huh. horror um actually uh, horror in separate it is there sir okay uh, the horror thing is available yes yes it's there in some few functions no so not that there. not that uh, uh -huh. when you go to the tabular thing when we filter it uh -huh. uh we actually have a option like where only horror is available you can you can you can able to do it so the point is one second what i will do i can drag into that filter okay so here i can able to search for it okay i can search the case sensitive can you find that word horror here okay so if this is right uh, so Ruby, this is what uh, you are telling right yes sir this one yeah fine 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 good so now if i am going to select this horror once if i click apply and okay so here you can what i am telling so i can pick that uh, movie name list let me show that the journal i will put into that color too yeah fine i can drag this one yeah here you can able to see that okay so only horror is happening so some of the movies contains along with action thriller drama something like that right so that moment it is missing okay got it clear right so that is what i'm just uh, let me explain here okay so some of the movies contains along with that action adventure along with that horror so for that particular movie name list okay what is that movie name list yeah here yeah world war okay so world war z now here i want that world war z so here it's missing okay can you see that issues here uh surubi can you get it like so can you see this this is the issues yes sir got it yes yeah, sir yeah yeah fine yeah thank you so that moment yeah fine fine so for this point of issues so we have to work on it okay so for that shall we write this uh, one of the built in functions name can be called as uh, what is it calculated field we can able to start work with here okay now so i'll just remove this journal now from here also i can remove this journal okay so now so here what we can able to start and from the left hand side here okay you can start to create one calculated field okay so place a cursor here any okay anyway okay from the left hand side place a cursor here and do the right click you can able to find that word can be called as create okay right so you can able to find that word can be called as create and click on this calculated field okay right so now what i want i want that uh what is that journal filter something okay right i can give the name can be called as journal filter okay so this and all you just remove it off okay right so we can create our own uh, what is it calculated field okay now from here we have to suppose to write a function okay so the first function 
and just using that conditions can be called as if I can able to type contains okay right so this is that one of the built-in functions in tableau okay right so what i want i am going to take this journal from here i can able to make it draw okay right so if contains in that journal's column if any word it contains horror so make sure that that particular uh, names you can able to make it display okay right that's it okay so this is that formula we have to suppose to write it off is it clear right for everyone so contains is that one of the built-in function i am taking the journals and i'm checking that whichever the words which is contain horror so that moment what is happened here it will get matched with this or this this particular uh, what is a journal contains horror so that particular movie what is that world war is also will be happened that world war z is also will be displayed okay right so this is that main thing okay fine so can we make it apply so note this formula if contains journal horror then make that name list of the movie and click on this end button apply and then okay now okay what we can do we can able to go to that journal filter and then you can able to apply into that rows now you can able to understand okay some some words okay right we can able to put into that filter also we can able to get it now some of the movies will contains uh, what is that null null right so that is not get matched okay so we can able to make it filter here now i can able to go and choose that in filter section So it makes null. So we can able to put into that one more. I'll remove that filter. Journal filter. I can click edit. Yes, it's correct, but what we can do, uh, let it be there in that row section. Remove this null. The nulls make sense. Okay, right? So let it be there here. Okay, the sum of that right click on this journal filter okay you can able to find some words will contains null okay right so you can just uncheck that okay automatically uh, you can able to find that name list and then where is that world war z i'll just make it little scroll down yes here okay right can you see this so now this particular word will comes under this combination of, okay, I'll just make it little uh, expand this column. Yeah, now you can see that. Okay, so now you can able to find that this World War Z, it contains action, adventure, horror, science fi and thriller. Okay, right? Is it clear, right? Shall I repeat one more time? Yes. Yeah. So it's clear, right? Uh, Nitya, Kirti, Ananya, Sanjana, Kritika, Surabhi. Yeah. Is it clear, right? Uh, Surabhi, is it clear? Do you understand, right? Yes, sir, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Fine, 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 fine. All right. Uh, Manmita, is it clear? Yes, sir. No. Yeah, good. Uh, Meghna, is it clear? Okay, so let's start. So let's forward that our work. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, some few things we just uh, uh, 
uh, filter the here uh, using that uh, what is that the journal uh, for that last one few things uh, that null okay right so you just uh, uncheck that and then make it clear okay so that moment all the combination of uh, that movie horrors we can able to make it filter and once we done it and next we have to go for that year wise okay still we need to make it a filter okay so go to the title here and apply into that filter sections too okay so now uh, for our uh, assignment 2000 to 2018 so i can remove that i put into that 2000 and here i just make it mark up to 2018 apply and then click okay button okay so still few things i just uh, filtered here okay right so that's it that that's it okay we uh, if you want that year in that column also okay no issues you just drag and then you can able to put into that uh, uh, what is that in our sections okay right so uh, which one i taken i taken movie title sorry uh, i want that year right so title year sorry so drag the title year and then you can able to make it so the title year will not be uh, why because it is an year column right so let it be there no issue so once we uh, uh, make it swap that moment we can able to understand okay so now this title year okay right so it is available only in 2002 2018 and then still more filters the last one imdb score 7.0 above but some of the collection movies okay it will be there in different things so we have to filter still more and i can pick up that imdb score again i'm going to uh, apply into that filter section okay so this time already i said right go and pick up this maximum okay right so choose maximum field and click next button so what i want i want uh, 7.0 okay right so this is what i uh, my filtrations okay right so 7.5 to that last value is 9.5 right okay so till that last okay that is that last value automatically will be applied and click apply and click okay button that's it these are the movie name list okay right and then still if you want to filter i can able to make sure again i can go filter and i can make it above 8 apply and then okay so this two movies are above 8 okay so i want still some 5 or something i can make it 7.5 rating and click apply and click okay button okay right so now what we can able to do now so this is in text format okay right i want that imdb score i can make it apply here in that imdb score i can apply it here here i can able to make it mark and then i can change into that measures into maximum already we done it here right so this i'll remove it off okay so i can make it uh, turn it okay that means in swap okay right uh, just i can uh, make it in ascending order i can pick up this into that label section okay right is it clear so these are the movie name list based on our task we just done it okay and then what is that 8.708 point so i i don't want this decimal right and uh, here that imdb will be there in that uh, what is an in text again i will convert into that maximum okay right okay i i don't want 8.700 okay so this this things and all i don't want i want only that uh, what is that one single digit that's enough so here you can able to find format in that uh, maximum imdb click on this format here you can find number section go to that uh, what is that number custom the two decimal is there right i can make it as one that's it okay fine is it clear now uh, which are the movies okay right so uh, only for the horror movies okay so only horror movies the name list we just displayed here okay above that uh, what is that uh, 
uh, what is that 7.5 above 7.5 in the year of 2000 to 2016 and then only english language that is that in uh, particular journal is horror okay is it clear have you got it on uh, this particular same design or some other design also no issues but i want this name list okay right so that name list that uh, uh, what is that a beginner uh, guide to snuff and then uh, shan of the death okay that conjuring okay right so uh, these are the name list okay so this is what i want the presentation from your side okay so you can apply some background images and you can able to make it display right in the dashboards huh? fine is it clear for everyone so let me confirm in yeah fine good Uh, shall I repeat again one more time? Is it clear? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. Yeah, is it clear? Yeah, fine. Yeah, sure. I will repeat again one more time. I'll just make it. Uh, what is that? Control Z. Okay. So this is what we done that filter, right? Okay. So based on that, uh, what is that title year and then uh, maximum DB that and all I'll just remove it off. Okay. So we have that movie title and journal filter. Okay. Right. So what is my expecting the thing? So I need to go with this particular, uh, what is that year, right? So I can drag that year title year. You can able to apply into that filter. So I want from the 2002, from the year of 2016. This is the range I need to go for it, range of values. I can click apply and then OK button. OK, I filtered it. OK, right. So year wise, I just filtered. And next, what I need, I need to go for that based on that IMDB score. So let, let's make that uh, IMDB score as 7.5. OK. Now here, what we can do, I can go for uh, IMDB score where it is here. Okay, I, I can find it IMDB score. From here, I just drag. I can able to make it apply. When I'm dragging, it's gone with some of the values. I, I don't want to choose some. Okay, you can go with that maximum. Hit next button. 7.5 and then the last is 9.5. Okay, right. So why it is giving 8.7 in that horror movie, the topest value is 8.7. Is it clear? Right. So before we see 9.7, but why from this time it's giving 8.7 means in this horror section. Okay. The topest value is 8.7 is the topest value. Okay. Fine. That's it. These are the movie name list. Okay. Right. So these are the movie name list from the above 7.5. So this, I, I, I don't, it, it not look uh, perfect design, right? It is a text to format. If I converted it into data visualization, I need some, uh, what is that? Uh, IMDB score, correct? No, okay. That moment I can able to get that chart format. So this IMDB score, I can drag, I can able to apply into that column section that I'm converting into that maximum. Okay, right. So this time, you can see that uh, I can find movie title also. I can finding that, uh, uh, what is that, uh, journal filter also. Why? Because it is in rows, right? One, I will remove it off. That's all. Okay, right? So this moment you can able to understand. So one, I remove, I, and, and means it is filtered. Okay, it's already filtered. I, for this presentations, one, I remove, I can turn back. Okay, right? This, you can make it in ascending order. Okay, fine, clear. And then pick up this IMDB score apply into that label again it is going into that sum okay right i can turn into that maximum okay right and then i don't want this type of uh, what is that that values okay i can make it drag go to that format and from here custom format make it one that's enough okay right so these are the uh, things okay 8.0 7.8 and 7.7 uh, 7. 
and then uh, there is one more question sir uh, some of the horror movies it is in 8.7 it may not be there in that between the range of 2000 to 2016 okay right so we have that lot of scenarios okay when you are working with this tableau okay so the people they will assign this type of scenarios and you have to start to create the dashboards okay right now you are understanding right is it for clear yeah so you need to remove that kirti uh, yeah if you want to remove that uh, okay uh, null values okay you can able to go with that journal filter here and click on this edit filter okay you can able to find that null right you just uncheck that so that moment all the null values will be get removed yeah you got it yeah fine fine okay right so let's forward okay now we can start with that one simple uh, what is that dashboard okay i can able to go with that dashboards here new dashboard okay I, i'm going to choose this floating so the sample i can make this okay you people uh, uh, what i'm telling you no you can make some uh, different things okay i i choose this one simple uh, one image i'm just picking here sorry right click edit image i can choose center and apply and okay and then click on this format in this workbook sorry in this format uh, so everything it is in shade right so from here i can select in this here little i can okay so fully i can able to make it black okay right so somewhat uh, image is covered okay right so go to that format click on this dashboard so the default which i set it as black color okay right so all the entire things will be there in black now here you can see that imdb okay right so some few things we just created here okay now so let it be there now i'll just close it off okay this task number 4 you can able to make it display here okay i am not make uh, what is that uh, some of the what is that colors and all are not done but you people try to make it some colors okay for the uh, what is that from this uh, here from this presentations uh, i can able to go with that format okay right in shading uh, i can able to set as black okay immediately it will go blacks here right so these are the things you just start work with this as in a formatting uh -huh. right so i can select here uh from here uh, in rows okay you can select the title okay is that movie title uh make it white and then make it bold so the movie title means in below okay right in below the section is there right that it is that format okay and then uh still more you can able to choose okay in that format you can go and apply it in format uh click on the shading and choose this max score so this uh, we done a lot of times okay right that scale formats everything we done it okay and then for that axis if you want uh, you can able to make it white from that left hand side for that uh, axis wise okay right and then uh, little filter if you want to work with pan from the rows and columns for that axis wise that's it that's it okay so this is that uh, that final uh, the dashboard which i required from your side to create it up okay right so uh, my what is that my requirement is i don't want that exactly the same 
uh, bar charts or something you people create okay so from this tableau okay so the presentation should be uh, what is that uh, what is it it should be get more attractive that, that's a thing okay it should be uh, more uh, work on it so we can able to uh, start and we can able to uh, see that the people uh, it should get more attractive okay i can understand so these are the movie name list it's above 7.0 in horror i like it i like it more so what i will do immediately i can able to track that movies okay fine is it clear right for everyone is it clear so let me uh, enter into that uh, chat window is it clear yeah fine yes good for all rest yeah it's clear right right um Neha, Manvita, Ananya, Sanjana, is it clear? Yeah. Good. Okay. Fine. Fine. Right. Good. Right. So last some few things. Okay. Right. We need to discuss about that one more task. Okay. Uh, I'll take a new file. Okay. For this next task. I'll give you that next task. Next assignment was example COVID-19 report. Okay, right. So you have to start to work with COVID-19 report. Uh, I guess that data is also I just shared in that or WhatsApp group. Okay, you just make it download that particular file. Uh, if it is not there, I will share that file. Okay. Right. So here you can see to that uh, that this is not an Excel file. Okay, this is a, a CSV file format. Okay, so all the state and uh, union territories are name list. It will be displayed here. Okay, right. So so obviously you have to supposed to work with that map chart, right? Okay, so it's not uh, what is it all over the world, only from India. Okay, all the list of uh, states and union territories will be displayed here. And then total number of cases, okay, right? So total number of cases from the each uh, state and union territory territories, okay, right? So that will be displayed here, and then number of active, okay, right? And total number of uh, what is that uh, discharged, and then uh, total number of death, and then active uh, ratio and discharge ratio and death uh, ratio, and then the populations okay right so some few informations will be get displayed okay right so based on that uh, just data sets okay right this is a data set so what i want okay this is that assignment work okay right so this uh, movie name what is it movie data sets uh, we just worked today and i want you have to interact with this data sets and create one uh, what is it uh, india map okay right so already we done it uh, what is that uh, for our solar plants energy right same similar kind you can able to make it target and then uh, mark that uh, which state it contains that uh, highest total cases okay right so first task is to find to find okay right or in uh, to find highest total cases for the city wise okay you can make it in bar charts okay or you can if you want you can able to uh, uh, mark that uh, what is that in state wise in that uh, map sections you just make it uh, what is that names okay right but i want the top sorry top five state this is what a uh, condition I want that only top five states. Okay, right. I want that only top five state name list. This is that task number one. Okay, right. And then task number two. Okay, right. So you have to find active ratio. Okay, right. 
so active ratio here you can be able to find the data active ratio and discharge ratio sorry ratio okay i want to find out that active ratio and discharge rate ratio overall in india in all state okay overall state wise so overall state i want to just you need to drag that's it okay right so overall in india okay right so you want to find what is that active ratio and discharge ratio you just make it mark in that state wise okay make it present it off okay fine so this is that your task one and this is that your task two okay is it clear the task is clear for you do you understand just only two task okay right so just only two task sheet one and sheet two in dashboard you can place the two things shall i repeat again one more time is it clear for everybody uh, nitya kirti is it clear ananya sanjana is it clear shall i repeat again yeah fine clear right good yes 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 yeah fine okay uh, i hope you can able to start work with this right so this data set i just shared here Uh, in our whatsapp group you can download and then start work with us okay fine and then uh, one more i have to be supposed to tell you okay and then uh, today's uh, uh, what is that uh, something um, our what is that the performance rating i need to be considered uh, yeah okay right and then this is uh, which we done it uh, the data blending as from last session and today in our class session simultaneously uh, keith is done that uh, what is that that movie data set okay right so i consider as at least uh, if you can start work with at, so i given four task right at least if you try one two task it's enough for me so that means i want that the people is working um, in our what is a tableau session okay i i just happy about it so i given uh, what is that one more point okay right so this is the thing and you people uh, make sure and make your name in the top of the list okay right so i don't want to see that anybody in that uh, what is that the task value is zero so make every people should get work and complete as 12 okay right my target i want all my people should get one in the top of the rankings okay i i hope uh, you can able to make sure okay fine so from this is the task which i right so do you understand right what i am coming to tell you right so so start work with this uh, okay right so you can able to make and sit uh, what is that uh, the reference video we just sharing to our whatsapp group okay you can sit and then uh, you can able to make it clear it never used to take that much of time uh, okay fine so right so i i any doubts is there from the sessions is it clear for everybody right is it clear yeah fine right okay so from tomorrow from our tomorrow sessions okay right so what we going to see that some few things which it is we need to concentrate in our tableau okay uh, uh, some previous sessions i said how to create uh, some uh, data with lollipop style and then uh, automatic total sales uh, automatic uh, subtotal and grand totals okay right so compared to in excel so here we are telling that it is advanced okay how we can able to see that it is advanced we need to see that some uh what is that some magics okay in uh, this tableau okay right so that we will target from tomorrow sessions okay you can able to start work with this from this covid 19 presentations data visualized 
okay right so let me see that okay so uh, how you can able to make it clear okay right understand from the background you can set that what is that the covid or uh, the logos and all it is there right okay so something that so you can make it uh, the name covid 19 you can apply that uh, that symbol of that things okay you can, after you can place that uh, what is that india map okay you can tell that active ratio and then uh, what is the death ratios and then total cases in one dashboard you can able to make it clear okay so let's see that okay so which design it is more attractive things okay fine so shall i end my sessions today is it clear for everybody right yeah fine okay right so i'll end the sessions today okay so tomorrow let's start uh, by 6 over sorry uh, 6 30 we can start our session again okay right see you bye